Hello there and welcome back to A Typical Daring Dad. Today we're going to be working on a solution to um, add maybe a, a, a pull-out shelf underneath the keyboard, underneath the piano, uh, for my computer, mouse, and keyboard. Because as you can see, right now my mouse and keyboard don't really have uh, a place uh, a good place to be. Uh, it's either there or on my lap and very often I'll use this cajon uh, as a as a mouse stand if there is such a thing. So I would like to put something underneath here not attached to this obviously you know I'm gonna leave this alone but I'm gonna put something here uh, find, a, find a way to get uh, a pull-out shelf to put my mouse and keyboard here so that whenever I need it you just pull it out do your thing push it back in when you're done all right so let's hope this works all right so what we're looking at here is a couple of pieces that I salvaged from work uh, there was an office that we were emptying out it had a this big huge corner desk but it was old and it was falling apart but I looked at it and I knew that I could salvage something out of this um, and why not? You know, I, I took out all the hardware as, as well and I tried my best not to damage these boards that you see here. So I think we're going to be using these boards along with some hardware pieces that I also managed to salvage. There were a bunch of screws, there were a couple of rails for drawers, and I will be using those rails as well. Okay, back in my workstation. I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm going to cut that larger board uh, down to size so that it fits underneath. It'll just go slide underneath uh, the piano. And so what we what we got here is there there is a minimum that I, that I would like. And that'll be the length of the stand. And we are at actually 32 inches at a minimum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe just add a couple inches to each side just to make sure that we are completely overlapping uh, the, the, the widest that this keyboard stand will go. So instead of cutting 32 inches, I'm going to cut 36 inches. So I'm going to cut that board down to 36 inches, and that board is going to go underneath uh, this piano. All right, back in my messy garage. All right, so what I'm going to be doing then is, with those 36 inches, I'm actually going to be cutting out both ends, both tops and bo bottoms of, these, uh, of the long board. And the reason why I'm not just going to make... Uh, why I'm going to make two cuts instead of maybe just one is because either way I have to I need uh, two pieces two smaller pieces to uh, extend the this smaller piece right downward uh, and give you know give us plenty of room to basically put it put this piece below the longer piece uh, so we have room to slide our drawer our shelf in and out So the next thing we're going to do is from the uh, from the smooth side of these smaller boards I'm actually going to measure about two and a half inches and cut across this way. We're going to use those pieces, for one from this side, one from the other smaller board uh, so that this will actually, these pieces will actually suspend our mouse and keyboard uh, board. <laughs> uh 
from the uh, from the bottom of the the larger board that I just cut out. quick uh, I just wanted to show you what I drew here so there's three lines I hope you can see it there let me see if I can get the other one better all right so yeah you can see the three lines here uh, all across the the height of this board uh, so basically this first line to the first line over there uh, is the width of the smaller board where the mouse and keyboard will be sitting on and then between this and this is actually the width of what I think the the, the hardware for sliding the for sliding the shelf back and forth. That the hardware is going to need this space. And then of course the uh, the other two smaller boards that that will suspend our shelf will go right along here. What I will be doing is I will be drilling holes uh, th all the way through this board. Which will be, uh, which will basically be the start of my uh, drill hole for some special screws. Let me see if I can find one real quick. These guys. I'm going to be drilling this screw. Okay, it'll actually come from underneath, right through. Um, I'll probably make uh, maybe three holes. Should should probably be enough. So. Three holes going right through, and this will drill into the smaller boards that will suspend our shelf. I'm going to be using these brackets as, uh, temporarily to hold these guys in place uh, so that uh, I can make the prop proper drill, uh, make those, uh, those screws go in well from the other side without this moving around.
All right, so before I moved on, just wanted to show you what is happening here. So I put these uh, brackets in, one on each side. That's gonna hold this in place. It ain't gonna move while I make uh, drill holes from the other side, uh, from the previous uh, starter holes that I had, uh, started earlier in the video. So you see, one on each side. It, it's, gonna, it's gonna stay put. That's gonna help a lot. All right, let's see the progress so far. I like these screws. They're very flush, so they don't they don't add, they're not gonna add a significant height uh, to the top of this table, top of this board. Let's see the other side. Yeah. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay, so now we're going to be adding our hardware uh, to be able to slide our shelf inward and outward. Whenever you can, use clamps. Okay, here we have the final product, the final results, and I have to say that I am fairly happy with how this turned out. I'm actually surprised it actually worked. Now, I had committed uh, a bit of a critical error here. When I had initially measured, I actually measured this a little wider, but of course, as it came down, it was going to fall on my keyboard stand. So when I tried setting it back on here, it didn't fit well, it didn't sit well. So I shortened it up to the point where only the keyboard, the computer keyboard was gonna fit. But I remembered I had this guy here. It's a mouse stand. Um, so it very easily fits a mouse pad on there, clamps onto there pretty nice. And then I've got my keyboard that sticks out and it works very well so that's it I uh, hope you guys like the video and if you uh, learned something new today well then hit that like button and maybe you might even consider subscribing thanks for joining me bye